Mallory here for Digital Trends, and we're gonna check out the Lenovo Yoga Book. This is probably the craziest product that we've ever seen from Lenovo, because not only is it a tablet, it also folds out to be a two-in-one computer and a drawing slate and a note-taking pad. So we're gonna take you through all the amazing features on the new Lenovo Yoga Book. The Lenovo Yoga Book looks an awful lot like a notebook when you first glance at it, but as you look around, you'll realize that this is basically a two-in-one device. So we have a few ports over on this side, including a USB port, micro USB port. We have the SD card slot and we have a micro HDMI port along with the speaker. Now, when we go on over to the other side, we have the headphone jack, which is great. The upper and down volume buttons and we have a speaker and the power button. You can see Lenovo's trademark yoga hinge here that they have on a lot of their laptops and it's crossing over nicely to the Lenovo Yoga Book. So when you open this up, you have a tablet on one side and a very interesting interactive touch interface on the other side. So we're gonna show you what all of this does. So obviously it's a normal Android tablet. It's running 6.0 Marshmallow mm -hmm. and you can do all the same things that you can on any other Android tablet. Download all of your favorite apps and basically do what you normally do. Of course, you can access Chrome, so it can work as your laptop as well. Now we're going to show you why it can actually be a laptop and not just a tablet. When you touch the little button on the screen, this amazing capacitive lit up keyboard pops up on this touch area. So it's a very interesting experience because it's kind of like typing on a smartphone which is really unusual and it's not something that you would expect to do on a laptop, but it works pretty well. You have your trackpad here and you can adjust the speed of your cursor, so that way it's going either too slow or too fast for you, you can change it. You can change the brightness of this keypad and you can make sure that it's exactly the way that you want it. It has a pretty good layout. Things are not too crunched on here, even though that this is only a 10 inch tablet, so we don't really have too much room but it's pretty decent and it doesn't feel as cramped as some of those accessories you might have used with an iPad mini or something like that. Okay. Of course, since you're using this thing that's kind of like a smartphone keyboard, you can also get these suggestions on the bottom, so it'll be letting you know if you're making a ton of typos. And it's kind of interesting because it should learn how well you're typing and make it a little bit easier for you to type in the future. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's pretty fun and it's definitely very unique. The other thing that you can do with it, of course, is turn it into a capacitive drawing slate. Now Lenovo gives you this nice pen that comes with it and they give you three ink cartridges that you can take out by sticking them into the pen cap, like so, pulling up and pulling out. So that's how you get rid of the ink and you can replace it with the capacitive touch pointer here that you can use to draw and paint. So this is actually really fun because you just go right on the board here and it's kind of like working on a Wacom tablet because you can't really see what's going on unless you look at the screen. But any illustrator or animator or people who are used to working with Wacom tablets will find this very familiar. And the stylus has different points of pressure as well so you should be able to tell the difference between light strokes and strong strokes. Obviously, this is only one part of it. You can also do it on the screen. So depending on what you prefer, you can work in either area. But the other thing that you can do, of course, is take out the capacitive touch nib and put in a regular ink nib. Now this is actually a standard ink nib, so it's not really that different from any of the other ones that you could buy at Staples or what have you. And Lenovo gives you this nice little notepad that you can flip open and pop on here via a nice little magnet. So now you can actually be taking physical notes and you'll also have digital notes on the screen. That way you have both a digital and an analog copy of everything that you take notes of. And that's a pretty nifty thing for students and anyone who takes a lot of notes in meetings or in business or what have you. You can also turn this off so say you're in a class or something, you can just fold it back and it's like you're working on a normal notepad. And you can just take your notes while you're in class 
and you'll have your analog copy here to reference and check out later. And then if you want to see the digital copy, you can also send that and share that because it's all being saved right on the yoga book at the exact same time. It's a really interesting new venture for Lenovo and it's something that we haven't really seen in a while. So it's pretty wild to see something new like this, something completely unique, something that no one else has ever really done before. It's obviously a bold experiment and we'll see just how well Lenovo does. But it's good to know that it comes with this in the package as well as the stylus and a few different ink nibs. So you're getting the full package all for the same price 